Hey everyone, Wavern here with another Minecraft Feed the Beast video. Uh, this one is going to be looking at a great way of transferring uh, MJ energy via redstone energy cells and ender chests. Uh, this, and of course, a, a turtle and turtle programming. Turtles are awesome. I've started actually uh, dabbling in programming with them lately and really the sky's the limit with this stuff. So uh, for this setup, I'm going to go ahead and I've already set out a 64 by 64 pattern here in the twilight. And uh, just go ahead and drop the quarry down here. All right, that seems happy. All right, so basically the redstone cell is going to be going right here. So on me I have three ender chests. Now there's three of them because A, one ender chest for that so that means that basically everything that the quarry digs out it will go into my uh, all-purpose general ender chest network and I have a whole setup back at the base kinda like the last uh, the, the last setup I had that it just pulls everything out of this chest and processes it and stores it. Uh, so anyhow, that goes there. Now here's where we do the redstone stuff. So I've written a uh, turtle program that will handle the recharging of the redstone cell and the transportation of it. Uh, so basically there's going to be inner chest down here um, and the bottom chest when you're out here using energy, the bottom chest is the one that's going to need uh, the full cells in it. So, as you can see right now, there's it's filtering stuff from another quarry. But for me, I have my full cells going into three cyan. So, if you look in here now, there's a whole bunch of redstone energy cells. And then we are going to go ahead and put the turtle guy on top. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and make him into an engineering turtle. So it's a turtle with a crescent hammer, engineering turtle. And also, we're going to make him a gate reading engineering turtle. Now, this allows him to read uh, the, the same stuff that a normal gate would be able to read off of this thing. Love that addition. So there we go. Now we have a gate reading engineering turtle. Go ahead and plop them down right there and then another chest on top and this is where the empty cells are gonna go so we'll just give it one because that's how I have the empty setup back at base so go ahead and put that on top alright so again fulls at the bottom empties at the top and now we're gonna give them a name so let's go ahead and label set Quarry 2. Alright, so now our turtle guy has a name. And then we're going to paste bin. Get, which one is this? HQ1F. And we'll call this uh, Charger. Alright, and now let's go ahead and run Charger. So, well, before I run that, you see nothing's going on here. This is quick. So we we'll go ahead and run charger. Oh, that's right. I forgot he's going to discharge. I added a command line option to it. Smart. All right, so charger, discharge. There we go. So he instantly put this on here. It's draining. Oh, why only 50? All right, now it's maxing out at 100. So so this guy right now is running a program that is checking every tenth of a second to see if this is empty. And if it's empty, it will go ahead and pull that out and drop it into this chest. And then it will pull a full one out of here, drop it back on there, and it shall start flying again. And as you can see, this guy is blazing fast. The, the quarry running at full speed is a sight to behold. So let me show you what it looks like on the other end, uh, back at base, where there are a few charging uh, 
charging stations. All right, and down here. So down here we have um, some steam um, boilers that are generating tons of MJ and sending it off into a network of uses of it. So I have two of these turtles running the same program except they're running it as a charging program. So as soon as they get it empty, we'll go ahead and simulate it. So as soon as they get an empty cell uh, into this chest, they'll go ahead and pop it down on here and then keep waiting. And as soon as it's charged up, it plops it back in there. Now the nice thing about this setup is this turtle does not need fuel. He's not moving, it's not turning, it's not doing anything, it's just running a program and that's free. So it never needs to be refueled, never needs any care, it's never going to move, no GPS, no coordinates, nothing. It just sits here and keeps doing a really simple program. So say for some reason this is empty. I plop it on there, oh, that's already full, so now it's back in here. So there you go, it is a fully automated redstone cell charging and distribution setup using absolutely no energy. Um, to do it, you, you'll you need uh, two ender chests and a turtle per charging and per discharging uh, setup. And I, I think this is uh, I think this is pretty much the best way to do it. Uh, if you have any other ideas, feel free to share them. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Uh, I, will go, I will include the pastebin link for the code uh, in the uh, description of this video and uh, I'll try and respond to any questions you have. I'm going to be recording some other videos of this world, uh, the, you know, a few other things that you and I have done and basically how we've really improved on the last one we made. So I hope some of you find it useful and uh, see you in the next video.